Hey everybody, welcome to the Drinking Jay. My name's Jay and I make drinks. Once again, this week, we are on location at beautiful Panama City Beach, Florida. It's a spring break. Um, I had two spring break special episodes where I highlighted drinks you can make on your spring break trip. I'll leave a link right up here to part one. You can watch part one and then follow it up with part two. Today, we're gonna be making a drink that someone requested on the very first episode. This drink we're making today is called the Blue Hawaiian. Uh, this drink has been around since the 50s. It was made famous in, it was made famous by an Elvis Presley movie in 1967 named Blue Hawaii. So let's get right into building this drink. This one we're gonna build into our shaker. I didn't bring the clear shaker. It's technically, you're not supposed to have glass on the beach, but I got glass bottles of liquor here, so. Thanks, guy with a squatted truck. All right, so let's get right into building this before any more of those guys come by. So this drink calls for three quarters of an ounce of vodka. And once again, we're using our old St. Pete. Three quarters of an ounce. Put it straight into our shaker. Next thing we have is three quarters of an ounce of rum. We are using Papa's Blonde today. This is probably one of my favorite rums. I was just about to pour the whole bottle in there. So we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Papa's. There we go. Next up, is a half ounce of blue curacao. Now the recipe calls for a half ounce, but I found if you put just a half ounce in it, the drink is not blue, it's actually green. So we're gonna go with three quarters of an ounce of blue curacao. Put that in our shaker. Next up is one ounce of sweet and sour mix. Now folks, make sure you shake this up because all the goodie cells is at the bottom and uh, you won't get the full flavor of it. So this calls for one ounce of sweet and sour. We go with that. Uh, this is store-bought sweet and sour mix. Sometimes I make my own and my own recipe for sweet and sour mix, if you want to try it out, is one ounce of simple syrup one ounce of lime juice and one ounce of orange juice. That is my preferred uh, simple syrup. I'm sorry. That is my preferred sweet and sour recipe. But in the interest of saving time today, we're, uh, we're just using some store bought stuff. So the final ingredient in this blue Hawaiian is three ounces of pineapple juice. So there is one ounce. And there's three ounces. Alrighty. Now, that's everything that it takes to make the Blue Hawaiian. We are gonna serve this, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the ice in here so that the drink doesn't water down in the shaker while I'm putting ice in my cup. So we're gonna serve this in a good old-fashioned clear Dixie cup. These clear Dixie cups are perfect for anything from beer to the finest champagne. Now we're gonna add ice to our shaker. Oops, caught it. We're gonna add plenty of ice to this because we want this drink to be really cold. There we go. Put our lid on here. Now, the more you shake this, the better it gets. We're going to shake this really, really well. And while I'm shaking this, I'll give you a view of uh, beautiful Panama City Beach. Kind of rough out there today. Said four to six foot seas with occasional eight footers, and I believe it. Because there's some definite monsters rolling in out there. All right. Now let's pour this blue Hawaiian into our clear Dixie cup. Whoa, look at that, folks. Does that not make you want to be at the beach? That's amazing. And look at that. 
perfect perfect amount perfect amount now I'm gonna garnish this with a lime of uh, orange wheel I'm going to garnish this with an orange wheel on one side and look at here we have our trusty paper umbrella to go on the other side now while I'm trying to deal with this paper umbrella just want to remind everybody that the website is live you can go on the website and check out the recipes for these drinks uh, as I upload new drinks I'm putting the recipe on the website I will go back and catch up the recipes that I've done before the website was up and running I'll eventually go back and do those but right now I'm just uploading the new drinks and that folks whoops that folks is your blue Hawaiian now this is about a beachy a drink as you can get so let's see how it tastes and I'm giving up on the orange wedge folks or orange wheel Oh wow, that's really good. Yeah, that tastes like a day at the beach. That's awesome. So that is your Blue Hawaiian. I'll leave the recipe in the, in the description down below. Also down below, I'll leave some links to some of the stuff I used on Amazon. If you wanna go check them out, purchase them. It really helps me out. Also, I want to remind everybody that Mother's Day is coming up and I'm selling some Mother's Day gift baskets to my local people. It's going to be a limited number and they're starting to sell out pretty quick. So if you want to get in on it, you need to let me know. You can drop me a email at thedrinkingj at gmail.com or you can look me up on Facebook and uh, shoot me a PM there. So that's all for today from beautiful Panama City Beach, Florida. And remember, always drink responsibly, support your local family-owned liquor store, and always, always make sure to support your local breweries and distilleries when you can. And with that, thanks for watching everybody and happy drinking. <sighs> yeah, I think Elvis would be proud. That's a good blue Hawaiian right there.